Mike, how you doing? Good, Coach. How you doing? Good, man. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me on. I like the beard, man. I appreciate it. I'm doing something new this year. So what are you, uh, in a 10,000 square foot home on, on uh, Carmel, uh, on the water? No, unfortunately, I, uh, I work up in Santa Clara. That'd be a little bit of a, of a traffic problem. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'll bet. Hey, nice win this weekend. I appreciate it. Yeah, you guys fought tough too. I was proud of you guys and the way you guys battled. It was awesome. Yeah. You represented, represented us well. Well, I appreciate the text prior to the game. You know, they were ready and um, played hard. Uh, you know, defensively, I thought we were outstanding. We just needed to make a few more plays uh, and had an opportunity. You know, you saw we had the ball with two minutes to go. Yeah. It was kind of deja vu all over again. And well, if you had a better left tackle last time, you'd probably <laughs> No, no. I think our left tackle was fine. We needed better coaching is what we need. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, well, hey, uh, great win. Hey, did you tell Tuit that, uh, you know, you always get beat by, uh, you know, uh, better guys from the East Coast? Is that is that how it went? No, I was having flashbacks of freshman year scout team with Tuit this past weekend, man. They play the same thing that uh, Coach Diaco used to run. 3-4? He's a beast. Yeah, yeah, he's so good. And he, uh, he's a great guy. We talked for a little bit after the game. His baby boy is growing up pretty uh, pretty fast. He's probably going to be as big as he is in a couple years. Well, the nice part about it, and, and obviously you know how important this is, he started to work on his degree again. He came yeah, back. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And just, just understanding how important his degree, coming back to Notre Dame and, and figuring out that. Uh, you know, I think he came understanding that Notre Dame was, you know, going to be a good thing for him. But I think he really now being in the NFL um, and being around the locker rooms, how the Notre Dame guys have influenced him. Yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, I, I saw Jalen and uh, Josh did the same thing too, right? Yeah, they came back in the yeah. summer and, and Jalen actually finished his degree. So uh, we've reached out to all those guys and we're, we're making sure they come back and, and, and get their degree. That's awesome. Yeah. They, uh, they all can't be in a band wilder like I was in the state for five, you know, so it's all good. <laughs> well, we've got some, we've got some connections with uh, my former uh, program at Central Michigan. Joe Staley's been a great mentor, I heard, to you as well. Yeah, he's been awesome. Um, he's, uh, he's as good as you guys advertised him when I was, I remember Coach Longo told me when I was like a junior in high school, he's like, yeah, you remind me of a guy that I used to coach. And I was like, okay, and then I started paying attention to Joe for as long as I can remember now. And, uh, you know, it's kind of surreal being in the same room as him now. And um, he's been great, unfortunately. Um, lost him to a leg in yeah. the last couple weeks. But he'll be back in a couple weeks ready to go. And hopefully, you know, we can keep our win train rolling and right. try a chance to make a run in the playoffs. Yeah, it's pretty good. And Robert Salo was an assistant coach for me at Central Michigan, yeah. too. And he's done a really I, nice yeah, job defensively. All the stories and stuff. Yeah, him and then uh, Matt LaFleur's younger brother, Mike, is yep. with us, too. So oh, is he? Yeah, so we have a bunch of... We have a bunch of the BK connections rolling. Man, yeah. too many. Well, keep it rolling. So, yeah. hey, the thing that I really wanted to talk about is, you know, as a Notre Dame grad, you know, football obviously is important, but your family, you know, is so important to you. And, and what I loved is, is how important your family is. And in particular, you know, this weekend you're going to go see your brother play uh, on yeah. your off week. You get a chance yeah. to see him play. And, and every time that, that you come back, we always see Jimmy. And, yeah. and uh that's so cool that you're you're able to uh, have them part of what you're doing. And yeah, so it's a cool opportunity the NFL gives you. Um, you get to partake in the, uh, in the thing called My Cause, My Cleats. And um, obviously, with Jimmy being autistic, it was a pretty easy decision of what cause I wanted to right. put on my shoes. And um, I didn't know to the extent of what they would look like or anything. And then all of a sudden, uh, we get presented with them, and they looked awesome, and they had his name on it and everything. And so. Uh, it was a great, that was that was a really cool couple of weeks for me, and my mom loved it too. Um, actually, somebody won the auction and then um, gave it, it was a kid that, or a guy that I went to grade school with, and he wound up dropping the shoes back off at my mom's house anyway, so now she has them, which is really, really cool. But, That's uh, nice. I think I'm, I'm going to do the same thing again this year, hopefully uh, have a cool design again, and, and it'll, it'll work out pretty well. That's great. That's great. And, and that's... You know, every time we talk to Notre Dame grads, I had Kyle Rudolph um, 
on last week, and we we're talking about his end zone, uh, which is a, a children's kind of hospital uh, with the Vikings. And every Notre Dame grad understands about giving back. And you know, football obviously is important. Their education and their family, and and you just fall in, in a long line of those guys. So we're really proud of what you've accomplished. I appreciate it, Coach. Thanks a lot. Hopefully, a lot more to come. Yeah. Well. You know, we've got a few more guys out there um, that, are, that are coming along, but um, yeah. you just, what you need to do is, is keep winning football games. Uh, that's the most yeah. important yeah. thing. Yeah. And rest up, because this is the bye week, right? It is, yeah. So uh, I'm going to head home on Thursday. Um, hopefully get to see the gauntlet of my little brothers playing grade school, high school, and <laughs> college. So um, it's the first time that I'll be able to see all them play at the, uh, at the levels in the last couple of years. Our bye, last year and my rookie year, our bye week was later, so their season was over already. Right. Now that uh, now that I can go back and forth in a plane pretty easily, it's, uh, it's no problem. I'm going to leave you with one last question, and you've got to be honest with me. Um, okay. How's your golf game? Because you're now on the West Coast. You've got all those great courses. I want to know, is your golf game where I get strokes now? It, yeah, well, I don't know if I, if I if it's not, I, probably not. If I'm gonna be honest. Hunter Biven tells me you're like a three or a four. That's that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, actually I just joined up at a, at a course out here, so um, I'm hoping to capitalize when I stay out here in January and February this year for the nice California winter. Cool. Yeah. You know, hopefully start taking some lessons so I can take you up on a couple golf courses this year. Good. Maybe uh we'll make we'll make a couple of calls and uh, get you over to the right ones, the ones that we yeah. have contacts with. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Hey Mike, I appreciate your time. I know I know you you got some time off, and thanks for spending a few minutes with us to uh, catch up on what you're doing in the NFL. Yeah, no problem, coach. Good luck this week. Thanks, Mike. Have a great week. Take care. Thanks.